Thousands of people turned out in San Francisco today to kick off an immigrant worker freedom ride set to leave for Washington, D.C. next week, including some who took part in the 1961 civil rights freedom rides. Participants from 10 U.S. cities are signed up for the nearly two-week cross-country bus ride scheduled to leave on Tuesday. The group plans to converge on Washington, D.C. to meet with members of Congress and then to New York City for a rally at the Statue of Liberty. Organizers say the Freedom Ride is aimed at focusing public attention on the plight of immigrant workers and changing current immigrant policy. Workers that are undocumented uh, often get the worst jobs, the most dangerous jobs. Uh, they work uh, the less desirable shifts and often their wages are stolen from them. Lowering work standards affects everyone, it affects people with documents, it affects U.S. citizens. The Immigrant Worker Freedom Ride had over 900 riders on 18 buses from 10 cities. Two of the buses we had 106 riders from all of the different cities in Northern California. It was inspired by the original Freedom Rides of 1961 students and activists went to the South to help the civil rights movement achieve equal rights for all Americans. Whites and Negroes called Freedom Riders tested segregation in waiting rooms and restaurants of bus terminals in Birmingham and Montgomery, Alabama, in Jackson, Mississippi, and in New Orleans. Angry whites stirred up violence in some cases, The Immigrant Worker Freedom Ride did seek to bring undocumented people out of the shadows. And as people came out, they became stronger in fighting for their own rights in the workplace. The Immigrant Worker Freedom Ride was the new beginning of the immigrant civil rights movement.